going to happen. There it is. It happened. <laughs> Hello. Hello, <laughs> Dripping Springs. Amber, I always introduce us. I'm going to let you do that today. Okay. Hello, <laughs> Dripping Springs. I am Amber Pierce with Coit Cleaning and Restoration. And this is Ashley Tullis with Atomic Property Group, your local know everything about Dripping Springs real, real estate agent, knows all the things, can point you in the right direction. And if she doesn't know the answer, she's going to find out for you. <laughs> How the heck are you? <laughs> I am great. And officially, you should do this every time. You're so good at it. Um, today, uh, we're... So weekly drip, all things Dripping Springs. We go live at four-ish o'clock every single Wednesday. Sometimes we talk about current events. Sometimes we talk about things we're passionate about. Today, we are going to talk about something that we're both passionate about that happens in Dripping Springs. You want to tell them, Amber? Farmer's Market. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of my things. Actually, yeah, I think... Other than Founders Day, this might be my favorite thing that happens in Dripping Springs is the farmer's market. Um, super love it. They have 30 vendors this week. There was a little bit of confusion. They thought that they were going to have to go to Dripping Springs Ranch Park, which is where they go with in inclement weather, but it ended up being okay. So they are where they always are at. Um, and I just had a brain bubble of where what it's called the place the, the park. triangle no not the triangle is where they go on saturdays um on wednesdays they are at founders founders ridge the, park yeah the park right yes okay it's just called founders park isn't it founders park yeah yeah founders park. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then saturdays though they're at the triangle right there in right off of mercer um, but they have over 30 vendors and I'm just going to read down the list of some of my favorites. Are these in order? You, they do have them in order. No, so no, there's no, no. also, do there's you an have email. them in order? Do I have the, so there's a, there's a weekly email that goes out <laughs> every week and it's, they categorize them. So they have them by like veggies and fruit, meat and seafood, beverages, for the pets, artisanal foods, artisanal bread, bakeries and sweets, goods and crafts. So it it is kind of in order, but um, I definitely have some faves that I go to lots, and they they know me there. Um, all right, let's hear all or just my favorite. Let's hear a sample of the all list. But really, what the people want to know is what are your favorites. So we'll get to that. <laughs> Okay, I can do that. So veggies and fruits, obviously this time of year, there's not a whole, whole lot going on with that. Um, but there are three vendors that are going to have, three vendors that are going to have you covered with that. They've got Better Days Gardens, Reverse Pioneers, and Songland Farms. Better Days Gardens, I have purchased from many, many times. I've always been very happy with the produce that I've received from them. And they, they do some other things too. Um, during the summer, they have some really, really beautiful flower bouquets. So keep an eye out for those. Um, meat, there's a bunch of meat. Um, 7R grass-fed beef is my favorite. They have all the beef, all the different options. And it's a really there's clean beef. beef. Yes. Where's the beef? Dripping Springs Farmer's Market. <laughs> Seven R got you covered. Um, there's also, goodness, they've got lamb, they've got beef, they've got rabbit, chicken. That's not from Seven R Farms. That's from other other vendors. Um, we even did you know that we have goat cheese at our farmers market? Mm -hmm. I did, and it's delicious. It is delicious. Go delicious has delicious goat cheese. Highly recommend. Um, beverages stoke juices so good and they are also carried in several different places around drip you can find them um i have seen them at abby jane bake shop i have seen them at um time and dough and they're the the cute little kind of square bottles with all all the goodness in them um 
artisanal foods, looking that one over. Let's see, native root salsa. So they were gone for a while, but they are back. So, so, so excited that she is back. They are local to Dripping Springs. It's a family owned company. The, the parents own the company and the daughter Amanda just recently purchased it. So if you go out to Farmer's Market and you see native root, uh, the native root salsa gal, Amanda, go tell her congratulations on her purchasing the company. So exciting that it's staying in the family and going to continue to make delicious things. They also had some pickle pinos last week that Ooh. were, I mean, it's like a pickled jalapeno, but it's so good. <laughs> um, um, I'm curious, is that your favorite vendor at the market? One of my favorites. Okay, have, so do you have a first place or no? You can't do it. Um, it's like your children. You never admit to who you love the most. So I super like them. I super like the Tamale Company. Um, and I, Tamale Addiction, they're organic tamales and they're delicious. Those are two I'm always going to. Um, but there's also a new honey vendor and y'all, this is the most delicious honey I have ever had. And all of their bees are adopted and I just can't help it. I think that's so sweet. Adopted. So they are a company that goes out and if you have a swarm on your property or you're having a problem, they'll come out and they'll collect your bees for you. And then they go give them a loving home where they can make honey for us at the farmer's market. <laughs> Do you know what I just learned how to make? Whipped honey. Do you know how to do it? Mm, don't you just whip it? Like put it you in the and like. I thought it was more complicated than that. <laughs> um, do I you know how to make it. butter? You just put milk in the thing and you just run it for a really, or buttermilk in the thing and you run it for a really long time and, or no, it's regular milk. And then what separates is the buttermilk and the butter. All Can these things we think are hard. They're not. Out of milk like in a similar fashion as well? I'm almost that, I don't know. I think you can. We'll, we'll have to post some how-to links um, in the comments. Mm -hmm. What about powdered sugar? That one blew my mind. Isn't it just like through the food processor and make it smaller? Yes. yes. <laughs> I learned this is in very recent history. Like I'm I'm a little too old to not have known this. <laughs> Did you know that brown sugar is just white sugar with molasses? I did. I did. TikTok oh, taught me that one. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok for the win. <laughs> um, yeah, but so many, there's so many good things. Yala Tizers also makes really, really yummy hummus. They have like a million different flavors and they're so, so good. Um, yeah, so those are my favorites. I like it. Um, are you more of a shopper at the Wednesday market or the Saturday market? Definitely the Wednesday market because I live a little bit outside the town. So for me, it's, it just makes sense to hit, hit up the farmer's market when I'm already in town from the week, picking up my kiddos from school. Um, as opposed to Saturday, I'm not inside of town unless something really big is happening, like Founder's Day. Christmas on Mercer. <laughs> you mean a farmer's market's not big enough? I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> the Saturday market is not as big as the Wednesday's market. That's honestly. True. No, so, you're right. You're absolutely I'm, right. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the bigger one. Although I from what I understand, they do have some different vendors on Saturday that are not there on Wednesday. So could totally still be worth it. Just because I don't go to that one, that does not mean that you should not go to that one. Oh, I think it's whatever fits your schedule the best. In fact, it exactly. would be a great time, speaking of the farmer's market circuit in Dripping Springs, um, 12 Fox has launched their market. Um, that is happening on Fridays from 4 to 7. Um, it's the mm. homegrown market called Freedom Farm. That one looks awesome. I really want to go check that one out. It does. Um, so the market is... Um, only a couple weeks old. Like it's a pretty new one. So uh, for your Friday afternoon, go and shop. Can you grab beers at any of the other farmers markets while you shop? I don't know if you can. 
No, occasionally there's wine though. And I mean, who's sad about wine? Oh, no one. No one. No, no one. <laughs> Um, Hellbox also has wine and usually some sort of spirit Cupboard. mixer, but the base is wine, which is a whole other fascinating story. Um, but I'm excited mm. for that to launch. Like in a dream world, I think we'd have a farmer's market happening five days a week and we would all shop there first. And then we would go to our favorite grocery store, HEB. I think it's one more accolades than like any other grocery store in Texas uh, for all of our other items. Uh, for but, good reason. Yeah. Yeah. HEB. Wouldn't <laughs> well, that be great? Like quaint. Oh, that would be so awesome. We got to go to the market and then go to the other market, you know. Run our errands. But that's okay because all of our friends are there anyway, and the music at HEB is bumping. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. they've really got it figured out. <laughs> yeah, they they've dialed in their demographic, and it's me. I'm the demographic. <laughs> <laughs> when you're pushing your cart and you're jamming as you go down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> if you oh. see me singing, don't judge me. I'm also not going to stop. <laughs> um, I know that our conversations about farmers market today, but our most loyal viewer, uh, Martin Garza, reached out and uh, let me know that tomorrow or today is the uh, Tiger Santa. Uh, HEB gift card drive, and that's happening at Rollo Insurance, which is over in Moon Landing. I'm pointing that way because that's the direction it is from where I'm sitting. It doesn't make sense to anybody else. <laughs> that way for me. <laughs> it's west. <laughs> this way is west. Um, that's from uh, 5 to 7 p.m. Their address is 1322 US 290 Suite A. Again, that was 1322 mm -hmm. US 290 Suite A, and that's happening from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, today for the Tiger Santa HEB gift card drive. And now that I'm thinking about it, at some point, Martin, you're going to join us on here and you're going to tell us all about Project Connect because my two sentence summary isn't going to be enough, but they do a ton of good in our community and uh, it's just a great organization to support. So, HB gift card drive today, October 25th at Rollo Insurance West on 290. <laughs> Five to seven. Five to seven. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so another thing that is happening this week that I want to give mention to um, is we've talked a lot about Empower and that networking group and how wonderful they are and how much we love them. But there is also, so there's the networking meeting that's once a month. And we had our last one for the year, which we talked about last week. But this week, this Friday, from two to three o'clock, we're having our Empower coffee hour, which is a much more low key come as you are and um, any questions, any things that you're working through with your business, if you're having a problem and you just need some other business business owner minds to be able to kind of powwow with and work through what's going on, um, what are good ideas moving forward, how to solve whatever business problem, that's a great, great place to do it. And that is at Max Living Chiropractic, um, which is over there next to Rootline Coffee. Also West. <laughs> It's this way. <laughs> and that's two to three o'clock this Friday. Um, we would love to have some new faces. Do you have to pre-register? Does it cost any money? No, it is free. Everyone is welcome. We would love to have anyone. You don't have to be a business owner. If you're just a business professional that is just trying to up your game a little bit, be a little bit better than you were yesterday, all are welcome. Um, that's really why we're there. Everyone who comes is there just to be a little bit better than they were yesterday, learn a little bit of something and just sharpen our skills. Yes, yes. Uh, for those that have ever read Atomic Habits, you'll understand the concept of habit stacking. It is my goal to get 1% better every day. 
and I can't think of a better way. I love it. I love it. So this Friday, two to three, Max Living Chiropractic. And if you haven't met Dr. Courtney Lampkin yet, you're going to love her. Get to know her ASAP. You want her in your squad She's for sure. Wonderful. She is wonderful. And she has a very interesting approach to chiropractic. I have, I used to work for a chiropractor way back in the day. Oh. So I've seen lots of different ways of doing chiropractic. And I don't think necessarily there's a, a really wrong way as long as you're not like hurting people. Um, but hers is more than just going in and like getting your your back adjusted. She really tries to set you up for success. So you're getting the adjustment, but she's also teaching you different exercises to make sure that you are strengthening your body to be able to hold those adjustments longer and just overall health. And she does, she is, she is newer to our community, but goodness gracious, is she passionate about our community and getting our community healthy. So, so much love to her as well. Well, we only hang out with community enthusiasts. I mean, <laughs> it's the only way to go. <laughs> yeah. And so more uh, more to come from me on this, but I also want to mention um, not this Friday, but next Friday, November, I believe it's the third. Um, I'm having a girls night. Uh, we're going to hang out at Summer Revival Wine and we're going to play games and we're going to drink wine and we're just going to have fellowship. So more formal lovely. invites to come. But if you're hearing this, that means you're a community enthusiast. You can sit at my table. Come one, come all. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Were there other farmer's markets that you wanted to talk about? Or was, I know you had a list. I did have a list. list. But I feel like we did a lot of justice to our, our Wednesday, Saturday. Um, it was mm -hmm. really important to me uh, that I mention the market at 12 Fox. I know now and again, um, Headwaters has one. There's one in Wimberley. Mm -hmm. There's probably five that I'm not remembering. So uh, you guys fill me in. What am I missing? Especially if there's a really, really good one for produce. I mean, again, I know right now it's not the best time for produce, but if there's a good one on this side of town ish for different things, like I am all about the farmer's market. I am, I, know you are. I'm, I will, I will cheat on the dripping Springs farmer's market. If there's another one worth going to, but it's only going to happen once. <laughs> You've got the gourd I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Got to tone it down. I was trying not to snort on the line. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much, Drip, for joining us for another episode of Weekly Drip. We love you. We are always so, so happy to share the different things going on in our community and different businesses that we love. If you feel like we missed something, please tell us. And we are we are so happy to share new things like Martin sent us the information for his his gift card drive today. If you have something that you're really passionate about that you would like for our community to know, please send it either to myself or to Ashley. We love this community and we love supporting y'all. Um, this has been season four, episode 36 of Weekly Drip. We look forward to seeing you next week. Same time, same place, four o'clock every Wednesday. Thank y'all.